Hello everybody, welcome to the Adam Josh Oral Brog episode number 66. I am your host, the guy. I'm the guy. I haven't written anything down for this blog, brog, but I did think it would be cool to talk about how people are like cars. People are like uh, vehicles. Maybe, maybe it's a revelation that has sort of sunk into me because I've driven so many. But uh, we work with one of the first businesses that we started was, you know, an auto business. And later we got into uh, roofing and uh, other at-home type service. I'm not, uh, usually I don't talk about my business. If you follow this long, usually I don't talk about my work business and things on camera. So I'm sort of editing what I say in my mind before I tell you. But um, before we got into the other businesses that we have, and some of them are actually pretty exciting to talk about, um, and hard not to talk about. Like, we got something coming up and in the works that's actually really exciting, and like, more exciting than opening a tire shop, as we already did. But, you know, uh, the family... Uh, we open businesses and run businesses and that's what we do and it's fun and it's exciting and it's not owned by corporate globalists it's small family family that sticks together and supports each other and I think that's pretty cool you know it's, we're not funded by Rockefellers and Rothschilds and anyway uh, one of the first uh, businesses and the first jobs that I ever had actually was dealing with cars. So when I was 17, 18 years old, um, one of my first jobs was uh, washing cars at a car lot. Uh, it was a Volvo, Subaru, and Suzuki dealership. So you can picture... 17 year old Adam driving around in sixty, seventy thousand dollar luxury sedans, listening to Slipknot with the windows down and my fingers up, circling around in circles, screaming, I don't give a F, with uh, dealer plates on my cars and or dealer plates on my ride and driving around, racing everybody. Yeah? And that's uh, not only where I learned how to drive, but where I learned how to park, where I learned how to drive defensively. I mean, my sister showed me how to drive on her 86 Hyundai Pony. But um, working at the dealership uh, for two years, as I did, um, I worked with older guys, 40, 40 50 year old mechanics, and uh, a lot of fun. And if you had to add up, you know, all the vehicles that I've driven, I mean, I've owned myself, like, bought and, you know, whatever the word owned means, but uh, in my name, I've had, you know, a string, uh, several. Um, I don't know. I lost count. Um, and then vehicles that we use for the business... Usually when I'm recording my guitar stuff, you can see in the back there's there's trucks in here, and those are all ours for the business. So obviously they're just sitting here, so I'm driving one right now because they just sit here, and now that it's getting colder, et cetera, et cetera. I'm, I'm getting somewhere with all this nonsense, nonsensical blogging, so bear with me. This blog brought to you by Tim Hortons. Uh, 
So I've driven a lot of vehicles, and my 30th birthday is coming up in eight days now, and if I had to say, since I was 17, even if you average out, say there's 365 days in a year, right? So say you were driving two cars a day, you know, going to make sure one was, you know, running well or gassing one up or whatever, back at the lot, two cars a day. And I drove a lot more than that, but even if you could say 200, so you'd be around, say, 600 cars a year uh, if it was two cars a day. And I, I've worked at places where we've done 10, gone through 10 cars a day or 13 cars a day, um, having to be in these cars and drive them around. And I used to shuttle vehicles as well for dealerships. So we would drive to a different city back and forth and I would do that three or four times a day. So even if you do a, a low ball average of a thousand cars a year, since I was 17 I've been in the same same business. Uh, and now we have gotten into other businesses these last 10 years, but I'm still still in cars and different vehicles all the time. So if you were to average, say, a thousand cars since I was, let's not even say 17, let's say 20, and now I'm 29. So that would be, you know, 9,000 cars. So let's say 10,000 cars I've been in and driven as a low ball figure, because I know it's a low estimate. But I'm just saying for the sake of arg argument that it's safe to say, 100%, without any doubt in my mind, that I have driven 10,000 cars. And I used to wonder, like, you know, years ago, what can I learn from, what can I learn from my work, from my occupation, from the thing that I find myself doing a lot? being in cars, being around them, driving them, working on them, washing them. We do uh, oil changes, oil sprays, um, now tires, etc, etc. And you know what I found is that we are like cars. People are like cars in a lot of ways. the body, the body vehicle that you're in is like a car. Now, the driver is something else, and this is what I've realized. You know, I've been in other people's cars, but I'm not their car. And I don't own their car. You know, yesterday I was in, uh, I had a Cobalt SS turbocharged, um, there was a Toyota Corolla, there was uh, two or three other cars yesterday, and then, you know, so you're in and out driving people's cars around, and you get to the point where you think, well, I'm not their car, I'm not in their car, I'm in their car, I don't own their car. So it's sort of like you're the spirit in the body, you know, the vehicle, the literal vehicle is the vehicle of the car, of the truck, and the, the driver is the spirit of the body that powers the body. Cars go to the dump, automotive uh, warehouses, scrap yards, we sell our organs, we scrap our bodies into what we call the... Uh, grave. Cars go to their grave. You can now, there's a business that's called Car Heaven, where you call them and they come and pick up your car and I think they scrap it. We're kind of like computers too, but uh, my, my analogy is, is more like we're cars. So, 
when it comes to the astrological chart. And I, I penned down by, by memory C-A-P-A-T-G-C-L-V-L-S-S -S, and that's the first initial from Capricorn down to Sagittarius. So knowing, you know, this is what I've done. Capricorn, you can see at the top there, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and I put on the other side, Earth, Air, Water, Fire, Earth, Air, Water, Fire, and it's a repeating pattern that goes three times. And the date's there. So knowing when somebody's born and their sign is sort of like knowing the make and model year of the car. Now, if you're differentiating between the car and the driver, I can tell a lot about you just by knowing a few things about you, just like I can tell you a lot about somebody's car. After driving as many as I have, first of all, it's a problem that I'm not impressed by vehicles. I'm not impressed by people's cars. You know, people who have, now there's lots of people who have only owned and operated and driven one car in their life or two cars. I know a little old lady who's only owned two cars her entire life and I said, you know, how many cars have you driven? She said this and my other one. And it puts me in a weird position and people like me because you've driven so many cars that uh, you can't even count and it doesn't really affect you to talk about cars. People come in and they're like, oh my car this and my car that and you're just, you're, you think in your mind, I mean it's, it's, a, it's a car I guess, it's good, but you know I've driven 10,000 other ones and thousands of them have been better and thousands of them have been worse. So I'm, when I was in high school, I was never really a fan of the uh, the guys who obsessed over their car engines, whether it was, uh, you know, an IROC was the thing back in the day, or Z24s, or those old muscle cars. I had a I had an old uh, Chevelle for a while, speaking of listening to Chevelle, I had an old nice uh, muscle car for a while. I had, uh, I've had some nice cars, and I've had some pieces of crap too. I like winter beaters. I like small cars. Big trucks too are nice. It depends what you want, right? But anyway, knowing somebody's horoscope and their astrological sign and the, the things that go along with that, the personal characteristics or classic characteristics of a Pisces or Cancer or Scorpio, is sort of like knowing the make and model year. And you know, there's major brand names like you know Ford, Chevy, etc. And that's sort of like you can you can tell something about the company as you can tell something about somebody who has been born under a certain astrological sign or born in a certain country. So people are like cars. People are like vehicles in a way. We are not the vehicle. The the vehicle goes to the grave and the driver can get out. I wrote a blog a while ago called Ghost Whisper Ballistics where I had a dream that uh, there was secret government technology being used to hijack human bodies and then the movie Avatar came out and now you hear about um, Manchurian candidates and uh, hypnosis and uh, psychological skullduggery and weird crap the government and secret governments into so it's not as far-fetched as my as my initial thought was or my initial dream was ghost whisper ballistics isn't that far off so we can be remote controlled by these drivers like drone planes are remote controlled vehicles they have remote control cars and RC cars and remote control vehicles so You can be born with a frontal lobotomy or chemical lobotomy or some sort of severe autism or something. You got the body there, you got the vehicle, the engine's running, but there's nobody behind the wheel in some cases. In other cases, there's uh, somebody behind the wheel, but somebody's ripped out the guts of the computer on the onboard dash. Uh, there's people where they've lost their tires, you know, we call them quadriplegics. 
people that uh, have their car stereo stolen, and we would call them deaf people. There's people who don't have any steering, uh, their steering column, and we'd say, well, those people don't have any direction. There's people that have heart transplants, it's sort of like having an engine transplant. And there's people that have problems with their exhaust, and uh, they need to have uh, colonoscopies. And uh, people have problems with their digestive system, and that's sort of like uh, your fuel lines getting messed up. And we do oil sprays and oil changes, which is sort of like um, putting lotion on your skin and uh, making sure that you have a proper diet and preserving what you have for as long as you can. People put decals on cars, and that's sort of like putting decals on your body. And people pride themselves in their make and model, and people pride themselves in their nationality. So we are like cars, and we are like vehicles. We are like computers in another sense, but that's a whole other subject. But we're like vehicles. Our astrological sign being the make and model year, the country that we're from, and uh, the driver, the spirit, the soul of the body, the you behind the you. The you that's still you, when the wheels have fallen off, and when the fenders have been replaced, and when the engine is gutted, and when the windows have been smashed in, but the en but the vehicle still works. The you that's the in there, the you that's you, the real you is the driver. The you that is saying to your eyeballs, look this way, look that way, look that way. The person that is saying, close the hand, open the hand, close the hand, open the hand. And then you feel over here, and the muscles are actually moving before your fingers move. So there's actually electrical signals going from your brain down to your arm to time it perfectly so that when you want your finger to be at a certain spot, it gets there. But these are already moving ahead of time. So the driver behind the, behind the, behind the machine, the ghost in the machine, that's a different subject altogether. The consciousness, the ever-present I am, the driver, we are the driver of these bodies. Now you can get new tires and you can get new fenders and you can get new quarter panels, new windows, new engine and all that, but it's never really the same or as good quality, you know, and you can probably get hand transplants as I've seen now and uh, face transplants, but, you know, first of all, it's ridiculously expensive and you might not be able to afford it. Second of all, it may not be as good as it was before. People constantly do body work on their cars. Some people and some people constantly do body work on their bodies. Sometimes I have the thought when I'm in a car and I'm driving that I'm a driver driving a body, driving a car. Which is sort of funny because you we forget that we were we were once microscopic, right? We were a glean in our in our father's eye, uh, combining, you know, the two of mother and father genes, DNA, chromosomes that start switching and growing and we started out small, ridiculously microscopic I guess. If you could divide that you'd see all the holographic infinities but we started off small and then we grow and grow and we grow, these bodies grow and the driver has to learn. So you see babies bumping into things. We don't come out knowing how to speak and knowing how to walk. We learn all these things. We're like vehicles, and that's the Adam Josh whole broad. Tell your friends to get a job.